So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you're able to look and view which fields are available in specific tables. I'm also going to give you this information because it can be helpful when you're asking somebody, whether it's a developer here or whether it's even somebody internally, you wanna make sure that you're asking for maybe the exact field name to make sure that you're asking for the right thing or making sure that you they're dealing with the right table. So one of the things that's super cool about Business Central is the ability to be able to drill down and see exactly what page and what table you're interacting with without needing to be very technical and certainly not a developer. So again, we're back into Business Central. So in this case, I'm just here in the items list. And let's say as an example, we've looked through our personalization and we've realized that we really need a field column added that we can add just through regular personalization. So I wanna be able to ask, you know, a developer who's either with my partner or maybe even internally, and I wanna make sure that they get the right field onto the right page looking at the right table. So again, if you're not super technical or just have a lot of experience, you might not realize which those records are. So what I'm gonna do is from the question mark up above, I'm gonna go to help and support. I'm going to go to inspect pages and data. And then what I've found is that there's this page inspection that opens up. So now I can see exactly what page it is that I'm working with. I can see which table it is that I'm interacting with. And then here I can see the table fields that I have within my system to be able to choose from. So what I can do is I can just scroll down and find whatever it is that I need. And I can also use the replenishment method. So let's say it was something like my reordering policy. So I can look for the field that I think it is. And now if I needed to make a request to somebody, it would be very easy for me to say, hey, I need the reordering policy field. It's an option list. I need that from table 27, and I would like to display it on the item list page 31. Now there's no guesswork, there's no assumptions that get made. And as I navigate around Business Central, let's say for example, I then, you know, I needed a few things. So then I go to my customer page. So you can see that everything is dynamically updating as I'm navigating around. So now as I'm on my customer list, I'm able to see that I'm on the customer list page 22. I'm interacting with customer table 18. And down below, I can scroll down and see all the available options that I can you know, easily ask my developer to add for me. And again, I just know that I've taken out the guesswork and it makes for obviously a much nicer outcome.